Chess is one of the oldest games still widely played today. With centuries of positions, end games, openings, and complex theories, it has become a game that requires not only skill but deep strategic thinking. However, unlike simpler games like tic-tac-toe, chess is impossible to solve mathematically. But what does that mean? And why is it so difficult? Let's start by understanding what it means for a game to be solved. In mathematical terms, a game is solved when you can determine the outcome whether it's a win, loss, or draw by playing perfectly from any possible position. For example, tic-tac-toe is a solved game. If both players play optimally, the game will always end in a draw. There's a clear path to the best possible moves in every scenario. Chess, on the other hand, is much more complex. The reason lies in the sheer number of possible positions and moves. Chess has 64 squares and 32 pieces, but the number of possible configurations is astronomical. In fact, the number of possible chess positions is estimated to be around 10120. This number is so large that it's often called the Shannon number after Claude Shannon, the father of information theory. To put this into perspective, this is far greater than the number of atoms in the observable universe. Because of this vast number of possibilities, it's impossible for any human or even the most advanced computer to calculate all possible moves and counter moves in chess. While computers have made incredible strides in playing chess, even defeating world champions like Garry Kasparov, they do so using heuristics and brute force calculations rather than solving the game entirely. One of the reasons for chess's complexity is the idea of combinatorial explosion. This term refers to the exponential increase in the number of possible moves as you go deeper into the game. After just a few moves, the number of possible game states grows so rapidly that even the fastest computers can't explore them all. For example, after each player has made their first move, there are 400 possible positions. After the second move, there are 72,084 possible positions. By the time you reach the 10th move, there are more possible positions than there are atoms in the universe. This explosion of possibilities is why chess is considered unsolvable it's simply too complex to calculate every possible outcome. Another factor that makes chess unsolvable is the element of human creativity and intuition. While computers can calculate millions of moves per second, they lack the ability to understand the subtleties and nuances of certain positions. Human players often rely on intuition, experience, and pattern recognition to make decisions, something that can't be fully captured by algorithms. This is why chess remains a game of deep strategy and human skill, despite advances in computer chess engines. So, does this mean we'll never solve chess? Most likely, yes. Even with advances in quantum computing, the sheer complexity of the game means that a complete solution is beyond reach. However, this isn't a bad thing. The fact that chess remains unsolvable adds to its beauty and challenge. It ensures that there will always be new discoveries, new strategies, and new ways to play the game. It keeps the game alive and dynamic, with endless possibilities for players to explore. In conclusion, Chess is mathematically impossible to solve because of its immense complexity and the combinatorial explosion of possible moves. While computers can assist and dominate in playing the game, they do so without fully solving it. And perhaps, that's what makes chess so fascinating its unsolvable nature keeps it an eternal challenge, a game that will continue to captivate and intrigue players for centuries to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of chess and mathematics, don't forget to like and subscribe. What are your thoughts on the complexity of chess? Do you think it should remain unsolvable, or do you hope for a solution one day? Let me know in the comments below.